nice clean piano keyboard. But no matter how clean the house is, we still have to take it apart, make sure the pins are lubricated, and double check that the felt punchings and the paper punchings and all the under key felts are in good condition. So here we go, taking the skis off. One by one, few by few. There we go. This is I need to take the keys off the piano. This does not appear to be as clean at all as it did on the outside. Mouse droppings everywhere. There's years of dirt and dust and debris. Every time you're starting to play the piano, you're agitating all this dust. And in this piano, most of the dust stays behind in the, in the instrument because the frame is hollow, as you can see. Put your hand right through. Most of the pianos do not have a hollow frame, and all the dust collects right here. And when you open up the piano, you can roll up the blanket of dust. It's sometimes this thick. Talk about bad for your health. Kids develop allergies playing these old pianos. So keeping your piano clean is just as important as keeping the piano adjusted. Uh, you can tell people all you want about cleaning their piano, but until you show them how nasty it is to see mouse droppings and years of debris piling up and dust bowls and stuff. So, when we regulate a piano, we take everything apart completely to the bottom. It's the only time I can get in there, clean everything. And when it's done, I can start to readjust it. Nice. Okay, about to start cleaning. 